You done job, Corwin. Done you done job. job. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming. We're continuing to play WALL, <laughs> which stands for West of Loathing. <laughs> yeah, that's what it stands for. Yep. That's what it, it also for. stands for death justice oh, or death. That's that's also an option, I suppose. Um, we, we turn need, in all the mugs. Yeah, let, have I turned in the mugs? Well, let's we'll turn in mugs. Then we will. Yeah, I found this mug. Boom. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Biggity boom. All right. Oh, wait, we found those graves. We're going to talk to this lady now. <gasps> ooh, oh, ooh, no. Ooh, added the last name. Ooh, Do fuck. it. Are you Susie Carcran? How do you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing, but couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows? Cows, right? I don't know what them things are, but they ain't cows not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma <clears throat> and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me in a place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. A couple days ago happened so fast I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of my gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door and a fire started out back. By the root cellar. House went up in blazes just like that. Did the cows start a fire? Yeah, they did, man. Is this like Mrs. O'Leary's cow? Cows are serious business, dude. Why did you do? What did you do? Ah, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. And I saw Tim trapped right in front of me. I just... She drains her glass. I ain't, won't talk about it anymore. Sorry. Refills her mug from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Hey, Wes, I suppose. None keep me here and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It's my... It was Maud's rifle. It's all I got left of... Anybody. Where is it? Left it in the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Fuck yeah, we will. New match, ro new, new match location. <laughs> the Cochran Rap. Take your leave. Boom. Side quest, the game. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. We cleaned up all the poop. All right, well, I would guess that there's going to be a... Uh, Cow here to fight. Oh, I was going to say a crowbar. Oh, yeah, look for a crowbar. It's probably a crowbar. All the water in the trough is boiled away. Ranch house is burned to the ground. Oh, I hear mooing. That's that's some scary stuff. Check oh, wait, it, it just start, suddenly started smoking. Go check by the door, maybe. Something behind the door is making a pretty awful noise. Okay, we're gonna wait. Outhouse is still standing. The only thing still standing. All right, so that's blocking us the entire way there. So I guess. Oh, stop smoking. We're good now. All right, let's do it. Kill the cow. Whoa! Oh, there's a shadow across. The that <laughs> freaked me out, man. Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Grab it. Varmint skin and knife. Oh, that might be useful on snakes. Yes, I bet it is. Oh, too bad we didn't, we couldn't have gone. To oh, yeah, no, we already killed them. Yeah, oh well. Allows you to collect skins from be- Ah, oh, shit. Damn oh, well. it. Shit, damn it. No, nah, there's not. These time. pies were not- What the shit? That is a flaming cow skull. Yes, it is. Go touch it. I don't, I don't want to touch it. Get it close. Lick it. Deal with it. Shit, man. Um, right. shoot it. Yeah, okay. Shoot it. 
Oh, oh. fuck. That's four. Dangerous. Okay, well, no, I'm, I'm good. But <laughs> that would have been bad if he had more health. Yeah, it would have been. Hooray! All right, gun safe. Grab Susie's rifle. Neat. Um, I was really hoping for a crowbar. Yeah, me too. Something's moving again. Maybe not. Okay, well, now we know that there are demon cows, there and are. that is a thing that exists. Um, yeah. I wonder if those snakes come back. Let's see. They do not. Dag nabbit. I feel like we failed the uh, the game, and we need to stop <laughs> playing now. Game over. Yep. Game over. All right, so we got that. I would imagine that we uh, are going to end up recruiting Susie onto our team uh, for going west, because that just makes sense, because she also wants to go west. Uh, Alice's is still closed, and we're still... Oh, wait, no, we're not short on... Oh, whoops. We're not short on money, because we well, will be getting, like, six or nine hundred meat. Nine hundred meat. For... Well, no, we only got two cows. You find my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Oh, wait, no, that's that was your... Her eyes well up with tears. stranger. <laughs> I didn't catch your name. I I'm didn't Grizzly. drop it. Thanks, Grizzly. Can't rightly say that's what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along with you head west, just say the word. The word. Okay, cool. So we've got a uh, we've got a party member for when we head west. Uh, give us meat. Any time. Looks like the pale horse made it back. Find the crazy horse. Oh, crazy horse. Ah, we're idiots. And by we're idiots, I mean I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, and pale horse like from the Bible. Double idiot. There you yep, go. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, he said something about an injury? He did. Sure. He let's, like. Yeah. He said something earlier about an injury? Yep, I busted my knee while mucking up the showroom. Don't ask me how, it's embarrassing. But how'd you do it? I was tickling the nether regions of a walrus. Where'd you... I, I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. I have so many follow-up questions. <laughs> Why'd she give up doctoring? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office, said she won't talk to nobody except... Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or is it this thing in my bag that I already found earlier? Pretty sure it's that thing in your bag that you found earlier. I see. Well, looks like we're gonna go to the door of her place and say, Hey, check out this fucking whiskey. It's real cheap stuff. Boink. All for whiskey. What, what? brand? Nurse Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Don't know she makes horse house calls, all right? Hold on. <laughs> nope, nope, it's horse calls now. <laughs> Enter the house. Enter the horse. Oh my god. It's a lot of bombs for a doctor. Captain? <laughs> Shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about screen cleaning or she never cooks. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Captain! Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Not until you give me that whiskey you promised me, Captain. Holy shit. I legitimately... <laughs> Corwin's sitting right there. I don't know why I was startled by him. But that... Okay, it okay, wasn't me. fine. It was, that, it was that... It's Captain. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Here, take your whiskey. Doc Alice looks to be in our, about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined. But her eyes are still clear and sharp, if bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Captain, thanks for the whiskey. Stack, Captain. Give it to so her. So you're enjoying that West Cat? She cracks open the whiskey bottle and fills a small flask and she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Captain, I've developed a bit of a drinking habit, Captain. That would be why you're yellow. That makes sense now because of the jaundice. <laughs> Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you, Captain? I've I'm, gotten a bit of attitude, too. I mean, I'm not I'm not a captain, so captain, we really... Captain, you become a girl, Captain? I've always been a girl captain, a captain of in, uh, captain of women, and a captain of industry. <laughs> uh, okay, point taken. You got my heart, Captain. I'm reading your fucking books now. 
You should try being less cheerful. Sure, oh. if you want to. Not gonna do you much good in it for this doomed forsaken hellhole, Captain. Check out the books. Survey the books. They're all medical textbooks, except for a few. Leaf through the Legends of Curly's Meat, Life and Works of Fred Ferguson, or The Goblinoid Tongues, a primer. Ooh, Goblinoid Tongues, a primer sounds like good. Do we want to talk to goblins? Yeah. Sure. I bet they're really interesting. You start flipping through the Goblin Language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed, and you know how that... And you know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. You have learned to speak goblin, sort of. Got the perk goblin tongue. Oh, we, nice. can, keep, well, we can keep leafing. Uh, Legend of Curly's Meat. It's a terrible sequel for... Uh, <laughs> So the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secreted in the hidden sense, not in the ex extruded <laughs> sense, secreted as opposed to secreted, <laughs> in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Cool. <laughs> Leaf through the what life and works of Fred Ferguson. Burke purports, purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through Captain, it- Captain, that's my favorite book, Captain! You mostly find just lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Ha ha. How's the rest of the crew, Captain? At least <laughs> several useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. You think they're going to show up in this game anywhere, Captain? God, I hope not. <laughs> like Smokey Joe, the uh, the mechanic. Well, what? Oh, shit. Wait. Depends uh. on how fast I get this whiskey into my bloodstream. Compared to how fast my liver filters it out, and I can't talk and drink at the same time. So, Captain, maybe you want to make like a tree and leaf. So what's uh, uh so what's the matter, Doc? You know, what's up, Doc? Ah, uh, that one. What's the matter, Captain? The whole world's going to hell in a horse creek, and you ask what's the matter? Welcome Bandits, to horse cart cow demons, gaming. Dead milk walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one? And I'll drink to that, Captain. I'll, I'll this pick... game's a lot scarier than the first game I was in, Captain. You weren't playing the first game you were in, bitch. You have no <laughs> idea. And on the next episode, we're going to find out about some dead milk walking, according to what Corwin read. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think the biggest purchase I've ever made or the purchase, biggest purchase Adam has ever made? Yeah, Comments what's down below? Yeah, answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well because we uh, we like getting games suggested because that way we don't That's have to we do the work one. of picking them. And yeah, this one is working out fantastically. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, spread the word about the show because the more tell eyes... As many, uh, tell as many children as you know. Yeah, more eyes adults. on the screen. Like, since we, we're not allowed within 500 feet of a school, so we can't tell the kids about it. Oh, shit. Bye, everybody! Deuces! <laughs>